There once was a ship of fiberglass, most 3D printed super fast. The sun melted one side of it, but Daniel did not give up. Planned a mission, R2 rover, so many waypoints all in order. Flip it into auto mode, and off Daniel did go. GPS will lead the way from dusk to dawn, he'll sail all day. Batteries charged by the sun, until the night falls it will run. LIFEPO for the best batteries that ever were, 10 amp hour capacity and 6 of them in store. As he ventured through Seattle, both propellers sure did rattle. You won't believe me when I say it didn't even matter. Careful with that razor blade, a big incision it has made. A good thing it was just a seed or surely you'd be sunk. Sea planes are coming in hot, you'd think they'd crash, but surely not. Daniel wishes he flew one, but for now a dinghy's all he's got. The headwind was blowing stiff, the boat was smaller than a skiff. But the big solar panels kept those big propellers turning. Full speed across Lake Union, under bridges, only one crewman, beautiful yachts passing by, feel big kayak energy. The ballard locks did loom ahead, the boat hulls painted us so red, solar panels pumping amps and brass propellers turning. So many rusting ships, ice cold water, perky nips. Daniel needed to go pee, but to stop would be a travesty. Yo ho, the boat did sail through the channel over a whale. Daniel's crappy laptop froze, but the mission onward still did go. Sail straight through the rowing team, like an asshole he did seem. Oh, but little did they know the course was set in stone. RFD 900 gleaming telemetry data, it was streaming, mission planner, it was freezing, this computer sucks. Drawbridges tilting up, people riding on a sup, saw Daniel wasn't paddling, so they called him lazy. Little did they even know the fact that they thought he should row, didn't make any real sense cause rowing is archaic. Manual labor is dumb, to technology we succumb, tech companies are already reprogramming our brains. Sailing out upon the lake, almost swamped by big boat wake, rich people are trying to flex, but their boats can't self-direct. As he passed the nice big yachts, the bikini bays were looking hot, he started to feel like a dork, his confidence did waver. Then again those big boat owners risk suffering from foreclosure Daniel's kayak only cost 50 bucks on Craigslist Two drone motors, amps a burning, brass propellers were a churning Holes were slicing through the sea with oh so much efficiency